secrets from the pros. And we're back again. And we couldn't have a cooler secret from a better pro. Thomas, you're going to talk about fingers a little bit, because you touched on it in the last lesson. Yeah, um, well, I had a, my drum teacher um, when I was really young. His name is Curtis Newtall. He actually just passed away. He was one of my favorite drum teachers ever, because I could bring him any drummer and ask them how they were doing things, and he could for some reason, figure it out. <laughs> so one thing, one guy that I really couldn't understand was Dennis Chambers. He just goes super fast around the drums. And um, what I actually learned from Curtis was that Dennis was using his fingers. So one of the exercises that he used to give me was an exercise where I would isolate my fingers. So, so we would do groupings of four, and um, I would start off with my pointing finger, and I would add a finger every time every time I get to the grouping of four and when it was done. So we would start off like this. One, two, three, four. Right? Um, so, while doing that, the, har the hardest part, which is kind of a tip and kind of like something to look out for, is that your stick wants to move around. So keeping the stick steady and going up and down, the motion is almost like the motion you use when you're in class with a pencil and you're annoying your teacher. Like that's the kind of motion you're doing, where it's teeter-totting on the, the, the thumb and what is it, like the fulcrum? Would you call it the fulcrum? Yeah. Kind of this kind of vibe, but then you're adding fingers. You see what I'm saying? So when you see these guys and they're going fast, it's like this. And uh, another, another big thing that you want to watch out for is your wrist. You don't, you don't want your wrist moving. This is all fingers. So um, a tip that I had that my drum teacher gave me at the time was to hold my wrist to learn it. So I would be like this. Right? So that is my secrets from a pro, I guess. I'm a pro. <laughs> let, let me ask. It's so amazing to see when you get that going fast. Yeah. Um, so uh, at what point would you add a little bit of wrist into it? Would it be for volume, for...? Um, so when I do add wrist, I add wrist when I'm going around the drums because what ends up happening with the fingers is that you can't keep your hands like this everywhere. So I, if I'm coming at this time, I got to move my, my body. Or here, I have to move my body. Or I have to turn my hands over. So I practice doing maybe, you know, doing groupings of maybe, I don't know, let's say eight. I'll do groupings of eight, and then I would end up turning my hand over. So it'll, it'll, it'll look like this, but I might be wrong with the stickings. But um, it, it looks like this. I have to turn over my hands is because I'm trying to hit the rims. I'm trying to go into that. If you, I don't know if you guys ever watched Dennis Chambers, but if you watch Dennis Chambers, he does this crazy roll where it starts off really quiet and it crescendos up. And to do the crescendo, you have to, you have to use the rim. So I had to figure out how to turn my hands over. So it sounds like this again. When I'm home and I have, I, I do play a four-piece drum set, but I, when I'm playing more drums, I, I, try to, I try to incorporate this idea on each drum, but I'll use, I'll use rudiments. So if I'm playing, um, if I'm playing maybe, sometimes I'll play groupings of four with fives, and I'll do them double-stroke fives, and I'll do single-stroke fives. So I'll do... And um, when you move these rudiments,
movements around the drums, since these drums are in different positions, your hands over here are not the same as they are in front of you. So these are just like techniques. These are techniques that are not supposed to be used like alone. They're not like something you isolate or, is uh, uh, or just doing one technique at one time. These are things that you do them together. I, I'm using German grip, the fingers, the hands over like this. I'm doing them all at the same time. So I try to figure out a way to incorporate them so I can actually be able to use my fingers like I was talking about. So that's the kind of idea. When you're on something like a floor tom, which has less resistance, you just use more fingers, a little more energy? Um, well, I try to turn my body. So uh, I, use, I think it's the same. It's, let, me, let me try it. <laughs> it's definitely harder. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's my stick starts sliding up. Hold on, one more time. <laughs> My stick starts sliding up my hand. We got a secret to the pros, and you get to see a pro practicing at the same time. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. This is very, very cool. Uh, it's going to take some practice to get this together. How long do you think it took you to get all four fingers going in sync? Um, I'm still practicing it. Um, I, I try to, some stuff, like, I just try to stay sharp. So I, I still practice this. It's just, that's, that was just the original idea, how to figure out how to go fast. And I also play with bigger sticks than a lot of people, so... I have to like struggle harder to go fast because it's bigger sticks. Um, but yeah, when you see when you see um, a lot of the guys who play super fast, they're using their fingers because you have smaller you have smaller bones in your hand, so it goes faster. You you go faster with smaller bones. If you're trying to do everything with your wrist, which is a which is a large muscle, large large bone, it's not going to be as fast as your fingers. So that's that's kind of the, the little cheat, you know. It's almost like um, the guys who watch DJ Cubert. DJ Cuber scratches like this. He scratches with all his fingers. And it's kind of the, the basis on that idea. You know? There's a real tip for you. Uh, and we talk a lot here on Drum Channel about the combination of fulcrum wrist fingers and forearm, which you're such a, a great, fluid example of that yeah. with everything that you do. But to see this isolated is really important. Cool. All right. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah, yeah we'll be back. Uh, have a couple other questions for him, too. And the next secrets from the pros.